Some of your grocery staples may be going up in price. Milk could go up to $6 a gallon. That's the warning from some dairies who are concerned about what's happening in Washington. Houston's Jessica DeNova explains. First, there was the fiscal cliff. Now, there's the dairy cliff. Federal funding for many agricultural programs is only good through March of next year. Congress is running out of time to pass a new farm bill. If it doesn't happen, this could mean a rising cost of production for farmers and a bigger grocery bill for you. It helps my husband sleep, and if, um, if it goes up, we won't be able to buy as much because, you know, everybody's on a budget. Milk is one of the staples that could see the largest jump in prices. More expensive milk means you'll shell out more for other favorites. Probably not the milk, uh, probably more on the cheese and ice cream if it goes up a lot. In the end, the federal government determines how much dairies will pay for raw milk. They use some complicated formulas based on uh, you know, cheese inventories across the United States and what cheese and butter are trading for at the, on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange to come up with a <coughs> with a with some numbers that they plug into this formula uh, that that goes to tell us what we're going to what we're going to pay for milk. This raw price then helps dairies determine how much they will charge grocery stores for the finished product. At this point, there are only what-if scenarios. If Congress doesn't have a new farm bill in time to cover expiring farmer subsidies, it may cost farmers more to produce. Then that would probably drive the cost up, which ultimately goes to affect the price of milk at the grocery store. Covering your news in Medford, Jessica Denova, News 10. Since the end of September, farm regulations have been operating under a 1949 permanent law.